All right, y'all. I just made it to Walmart. Um, what it do? What it is? What it ain't? It's your girl Jess, and I'm back with a new video. I just made it to Walmart, as you guys can tell from the title. This video is a little different. Um, with the coronavirus going on, I wanted to ensure that my family was stocked and we had enough food um, to kind of pretty much last us through the spring break week because they did extend the spring break week. The spring break week in our area so i want to ensure that you know we have water we have a couple of meals um and we just in our whole netflix and chill mode or because we can't really travel we can't really do anything i'm i don't want to i don't want my family to be affected by the coronavirus or anybody that i know you know to be affected or even come across somebody who does and I'm not the type of person that, um, you know, watches a lot of the news or who is, like, really involved in, like, what's going on in the world. I hate to say it like that, but like that. Because the news is so depressing and so sad. It, it gets you down. It, it has you thinking about nothing but negative things. And I try to really stay in a positive mindset. So I really refrain from the news. But whenever I see a lot of the coronavirus information on the social media platform and a lot of, you know, stars and a lot of common people and a lot of colleges are being affected by the virus, I just want to make sure that we're doing all that we can to protect ourselves and to be prepared. So I want to go inside Walmart, do a little grocery haul. I want to bring you guys with me and I want to get a few things to keep our family you know safe and clean sanitizer tissue uh toilet paper all that good stuff so come along let's go Have you ever felt are you listening damn And there is no water. This is stupid, yo. Like, there's not one lick of water. Like, maybe I should just grab one of these paper towels. I'm just gonna grab it. I don't even need them to just grab it because look, it could possibly be the last paper towel we have in the house. And you know, there's no tissue. There. Let me get some of these little Kleenex wipes. This is all they got. This is this is it, y'all. They got a couple of Kleenexes so you can blow your nose. But nobody in my house got any nose issues, so it'll be irrelevant for me to even buy any of this tissue. I have plenty of tissue at my home, but I don't need like sneezing tissue. Or should I? Or do I? I don't know. I'm just gonna get it. I'm... Is that water? I thought you had water in your. <laughs> it's a 12 o'clock tonight. Oh, I'll be back then. I'll, I should probably just come. Is that like a shipment? Yeah. Y'all normal shipment? Oh, uh, then I might just come back tonight because this. I might just get like a few things that I need and just come back tonight at 12 because. There's, it's a lot of people in here, first of all, and there's nothing left. There's barely any eggs. There's barely any milk. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm searching for scraps. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Right, we're just gonna, just, I'm just gonna get the few things that I can and just try to come back later on tonight. I'm gonna get the 18 eggs because we eat a lot of eggs. Definitely on the weekends, can we eat the most eggs? It's getting really, really tedious now. 
I like half turkey breast, half honey roast. They don't got it. I'm just gonna get this. Ugh. Cause I normally get this like uh, like half and half. That's the best. I'm really devastated. I'm getting a little upset now because as I continue to go down my grocery list, I'm getting less and less items that I came here for. They don't even have like the little chicken patties for like the chicken sandwiches that I like. I don't know, I might just have to go to another Walmart or I might have to just try again because I don't do good with disappointment. And I'm highly disappointed. Oh my God, y'all, I think I just fell. I'm happy now. This is what I was looking for. Oh, Lord, ain't no bread. Oh, Lord. Well. This is not good, guys. It's not good. Not good at all. Where's the honey? Oh, it's only three honey. That's crazy. Ain't no frozen vegetables either, y'all. Everybody's stacking up on bread. Let me flip the camera this way because my veins just doing whatever they want to do. Everybody's stacking up on bread, but they really sleeping on the tortillas. Look at all the tortillas. You can make a quesadilla, you can make a taco, you can make a grilled cheese. Alright guys, honestly I'm just throwing stuff in the basket. I haven't checked nothing off the list. I think I got more than enough stuff I came here for, that's for sure. And I feel like the longer I stay here, the more I keep picking up stuff. So, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all at the house. I was able to like, I was finally able to finish scanning all of my stuff. My budget came out to be about $91. I didn't do that bad. Excellent. So I'm really proud of myself. So it worked out really good. So I can't wait to show you guys the unboxing whenever I get home. All right, y'all. Um, I made it back to the house. Finally left Walmart after three long hours. Let me get some lip gloss. Okay guys, I finally made it back to the house. I got all the groceries out of the bag. And just kind of looking over all the groceries, I say I did pretty good for $90. I really tried to like keep the meals together, but it was a little difficult, but I do want to give y'all like a quick little run through of what I got. Um, I was able to get Are some ground beef. I just got this so I can make nachos like mm. right now, but I have ground beef in the refrigerator. And I also got like some stew meat so I can put it in the crock pot. And I got some tortillas for enchiladas, also for quesadillas, grilled cheese, really quick meals. Um, I got the spaghetti. We love Progresso. Prego. <laughs> Progresso. That's the insurance company. <laughs> We like, um, I got the Prego, the Italian sauce, the Italian sausage and garlic. I also picked up some almond milk, original. We have some cheese here to go with our, um, our spicy chicken sandwiches, which is like right here. And um, I got the cheese right here for the nachos. I'm gonna actually make that here in a minute. I got some teriyaki mix. I'm gonna do like a teriyaki rice bowl thing. 
And I got some seasoning. We eat a lot of popcorn. I got the movie lovers with a lot of butter. And I also got the kettle corn. Uh, back here we have the spaghetti right here, the thick spaghetti. They didn't really have the regular spaghetti that we like because a lot of the stuff was running out. So I just picked up the thick spaghetti and that'll go with the sauce right here. Um, back here we have like a five pound bag of boneless chicken breast and we pretty much boil, fry, grill, chop, season, all that with that chicken. That's like, it's all, all in one bag. Um, we have some beef fajitas for our quesadillas, some enchiladas, um, iceberg salad. I got rice. It's going to go for my chicken teriyaki bowl. It's going to be so good. And I picked up this like spaghetti in a box because I've never seen it before. All you just have to do is add the tomato paste. I was like, okay, this is pretty quick. You never know when you need that with the kids. I um, also picked up a six pack of Snickers because me and Hun, we eat a lot of Snickers. We like Snickers. I got crackers for the kids, like for little snacks. And I also picked up these whole grain peanut butter crackers. I've never had the whole grain kind before, but I love this brand of peanut butter crackers. So I want to try that. I um, also have Rotel Original and Mile because the kids, they don't really like spicy food, but. I like to add it every now and then in, in like some of my food. I, we also have like the Southwest corn. It's like corn and red peppers together. I also picked up this new bourbon barbecue sloppy joe. Um, I don't think we've ever had it, but I do want to try it. Um, we got some pinto beans, um, green beans. Um, there's a lot of cans we probably should have got, but I just grabbed a few that I know I wanted. Um, I got peanut butter and jelly for the kids so they can have like a quick little snack and I also got them like this snackable pickles just in case they want like a something on the side. Um, over here I do want to start um, drinking smoothies in the morning so I got whole strawberries, I got some yogurt right here to go into, into the smoothie. Um, we have carrots. The carrots are going to be for like our chicken teriyaki bowl. And then I also have um, mixed fruit. This has pineapple, strawberry, peaches, and mangoes in there. And there's some chopped spinach. This is also going to go inside our smoothie. And our broccoli. This is going to go with our teriyaki bowl, which is going to be so good. I might do a video for you guys on our chicken teriyaki bowl. It's going to be like a little imitation of the Jack in the Box chicken teriyaki bowl. So if you want to get a quick glimpse of what that's going to look like, you can always Google Jack in the Box chicken teriyaki bowl. But I am going to go ahead and do a video on that too whenever we cook that. Are you listening? Uh, back to the video of our groceries. <laughs> I have some bananas right here for the kids. They love bananas. Um, we have some uh, raisin cinnamon bread. And we also have like some honey wheat bread. I picked up this 30 pack of juice for the kids. It's like $6. I don't know if it only really scanned one or if this whole pack was $6. But I just definitely went with it and kept going. I got us some Doritos for our nachos we're gonna make in a few minutes. Um, I got some barbecue chips because these are always good with the sandwich, cook the sandwich. Got the kids a couple of snacks and us a couple of snacks because we are big Netflix bingers. We could just watch Netflix and we'd be like, oh, I want a snack. So we can just kind of come and grab um, a mixture of this. We got like the Ritz, the Ritz um, sour cream and onion. It also has like cheddar and wheat thins. And back here, there is another snack box I got for us, and it actually has like gummies and fruit snacks. My camera's gonna die, so I'm kind of talking really, really fast. And I got me some white cranberry peach grape, um, some not peach grape, uh, white cranberry peach, yeah, juice, so I can drink whenever I get thirsty. And that pretty much, that pretty much wraps up our vlog, guys. Hopefully we'll be protected for the next week, week and a half. I think I did pretty good for $90 worth of groceries. I think we'll be good. Oh, I didn't tell y'all I got some relish. 
I got some relish so I can make some um, some tuna. I like tuna. And I got cream cheese to go with our raisin bread. But I think that's it. I think I covered everything else. Oh, and I got some sandwich meat down here. Boom. I think that's it. That's it. That's all. Thanks guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell so you guys can be aware every time we post a new video. And that's it. We out.